Well, good afternoon, people of God. How you all doing tonight? Well, we're going to get started on our Bible study tonight. And we're going to uh, talk about our help is on the way. Our help is on the way. Can you repeat that after me? Our help is on the way. Amen. Our help is on the way. Amen. If you have your Bible with you, and if you if you don't have your Bible with you, just point your hand towards my Bible and you, and just repeat after me. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And you have to believe that. You have to believe that this is your Bible. And it is what it said you are. And you can do all things through Christ which strengthens you. Amen? Amen. Let's get started tonight. Amen? And we're going to talk about our help is on the way. Amen? Let's go to the book of John 14, 26. John 14, 26. And it reads like this. But, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost... Who's the Father with sin in my name? He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So you have to understand, you have to understand and realize that the Holy Spirit, He is acting on God's behalf. The Holy Spirit is acting on God's behalf to help you. He wants to help you. The Holy Spirit wants to help us. He wants to help you. So let him help you. Amen? Let the Holy Spirit come in you and help you. Amen? That's what he's there for. But the only way he can help you is uh, we're going to come out of Romans, Romans uh, 12 and 2. And Romans 12 and 2 reads like this. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. That word transform means you have to change. You have to change. Transform by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. See, you, have, you can't be like the world. You can't operate the way the world operates. You can't operate the way the world wants you to operate. You have to operate in the spirit, in the things of God. If you want to see results for your life in order for God to help you, you have to change your mind. You have to change your thinking in the way you think, and in the way you operate. See, you can't operate in the flesh. <laughs> you have to operate in the spirit. Amen? That's the only way you will see your results. Your results is operating in the spirit. Amen? Amen. So you have to start changing and renewing your mind. Asking God to help you to renew your mind every day. Amen? Amen. Let's move on. Because God is not going to operate in the flesh. God's going to operate in the spirit. Amen? Amen. Let's go to Isaiah 55 and 8. And it reads like this. Isaiah 55 and 8. For my thoughts are not like your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. You have to understand, he wants to help you. God wants to help you. Don't think that he don't want to help you. God is there to help you. He wants to help you. But, he, but God can do it his way. He's going to do it his way. And when he do it his way, you can see better results. Amen? He's not going to do it your way. He's going to do it his way. So allow God to do it his way. Amen? If you want God to help you, allow for him to do it his way and not your way. Because he's he, God is not going to think the way you think. He's not going to operate the way you operate. But he's going to operate according to his word. What his word says. So allow the Holy Spirit to come into your life and help you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's go to um, 1 Peter 5 and 6. We're not going to be here long. 
First Peter 5 and 6 read like this. Let's go there. Let me get to it. First Peter 5 and 6. It reads like this. See, the only way God can help you is if you humble yourself. He said, humble yourself, therefore under the mighty hand of God, that, you, that he may exalt you in due time. You have to humble yourself. You have to stay humble before God and cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. In order for, God, in order for God to help you, you got to humble yourself. Because your help is on the way. Amen? So we got to stay humble and wait on God. Don't get, don't get ahead of God, okay? Don't get ahead of God. Let God help you. Amen? Amen. And then Proverbs 3 and 5, 6. I know, and I know everybody know this scripture. This is one of my favorite scriptures. Uh, Proverbs 3 and 5 and 6. It said, trust in the Lord. With all that heart and lean not into your own understanding. You can't lean unto your own understanding. You got to trust in the Lord. And then he said, in all your ways acknowledge him. In all your ways acknowledge him. And then he would direct your path. Are you acknowledging him? Are you, are you do, um, do, um, acknowledging him? So he could direct your path? He didn't say... A direct, he didn't say acknowledge him sometime, but if you want the help from, from the Holy Ghost, if you want the help from God, you got to acknowledge him in all your ways. You got to acknowledge him in all your ways. Amen. And the three points that you, uh, on, in this verse is you got to trust him. You got to trust the Lord. You got to follow his directions and you got to trust the word. If you want him to help you, if you want the Holy Ghost to help you, you got to trust him. You got to follow his directions. And you got to trust his word. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. And so those are the things that you have to do in order, God, in, 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 in order for God to help you. You got to trust him. You got to follow his directions. You got to read his word. And trust his word. Amen. Amen. And you got to remember Isaiah 55 11 said his word is not going to return by void, but it will accomplish what thus said the word. You got to speak his word. You got to remind his word to the Lord. You got to put, you got to have the word in you and you got to have the word in your mouth and speak his word out. Amen. Amen. Because his word is not going to return by void. It cannot. Amen? And, 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 and in Psalms 138, it says, God will perfect everything th that concerns you. He will perfect everything that concerns you. He's here to help you. He can perfect your, your finances. He can deliver you. He can heal you. If you, need, if you need help in healing, in your finances, deliverance, even help cleaning up or whatever it may be. Whatever you asking God to do, he would do it. The only thing you need to do is believe. The only thing you can do is believe. Believe in your heart that God can help you because your help is on the way. Amen? In Hebrews 13, 6. Let's, let's run there right quick. This is my last scripture. 13 and 6 reads like this. And God wants us to say this. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is our helper. Say that with me. So that we may boldly say that the Lord is our helper. Yes, the Lord is our helper. And I will not fear what can man do unto us. Don't fear. Fear, fear the Lord. Fear him. Amen. He's our helper. 
He wants to help you. Let him help you. He loves you. Amen. Get out of your fleshy ways. Get out of your, ask God to renew your mind and change you so he can help you because your help is on the way. Amen. Amen. So God loves you. He's there for you to help you. Amen. Amen. My husband is on the way. But the only, let me tell you something. The only way God can help you is, is the way, the only way you can get help is receiving Jesus Christ for your personal Savior. So if you have not received Jesus Christ for your personal Savior, you have an opportunity to do that right now. Because the Bible says, and, and the Bible says that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, you shall be saved. So if you want God's help, you have to confess that with your mouth and believe in your heart that God is there to save you and to help you. Amen? Amen. I hope you got something out of that word tonight. And I hope you enjoy that word tonight because I know that your help is on the way. Amen? Amen. Give God praise for his word tonight. Glory to God. And praise the Lord. Give God the glory. Give him all the honor because he's worthy to be praised. Amen? Amen. You be blessed and God bless you. Amen. Pastor Al Henry is on the way. Be blessed. Amen, 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 and amen. Your help is on the way. Amen. And my wife said that, um, Pastor Renee has said, she talked about renewing the mind. Everybody says, oh, I know them scriptures, I know them scriptures. Have you really renewed your mind? You see, you have to understand, the same way you got saved, if you are saved, if you're not, we're going to give you the opportunity to do that in just a minute. But the same way you got saved, believing in your heart, actually, like my wife said, confessing with your mouth, is the same way you receive everything of the Lord. It's the same way that you receive everything of the Lord. You have to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. And you even have to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that your help is on the way. Because what happens a lot of time is, and we think we're doing fine and everything's going well, but the thing is, we're not really believing that God is our help because we're taking it over ourselves. And we can't do that. When you give something to God, you know he's on the way. You, you wanna do all that you can, yes. But when you've done all you can do, the next thing you can do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. And just like he used that um, that uh, procedure to get you saved, he used that procedure to get your help. He used that procedure to do everything that he has for you, no matter what it may be. If it's getting your help from the Lord, healing your, your healing from the Lord, getting your financial deliverance from the Lord, Amen. whatever it may be, you have to believe it in your heart and confess it with your mouth. God is there to help you. So, if you believe it in your heart, once you believe in your heart that you were saved and confess with your mouth, you don't need to run around trying to get saved because you're already saved. And when you believe your help is on the way, you don't have to run around getting ahead of God like Pastor Renee has said and trying to help yourself. You do what you're supposed to do and watch and see God's help show up and watch and see how God shows out. He's, he's reliable and faithful and dependable. We just have to depend on ourselves to really trust him and believe. Now, if you don't know him as your personal Lord and Savior, I want to give you the opportunity to receive him tonight. So if you never see Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I need you to repeat this after me. You have to believe it that he died for your sins. So say, Father, 
I believe you sent your son Jesus to die for my sins. I believe he died on Calvary, on the cross. He made an exchange on that cross. He took my sins and gave me his righteousness so that I might be in right standing with him. Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Thank you for saving me this day. Now I want us all to make a confession and say this, Father, I believe that you are my help. You have unseen help. Your spirit on the inside of me is here to help me. The angels that you give charge concerning me, that hearken to your word, they're there to help me. The word that you give me, which is the light unto my feet and the lamp unto my path, is there to help me. I receive my help in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, people of God, one way God wants to help you is he wants you to help you financially. So he gave you a method. He says, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down, shaken together, running over will men give into your bosom. He said, um, he's gonna, upon this rock, I'll build my church. What's that? The, the God's church, you are the church. This is the church. He wants to build it. He said, bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat or resources in my house and watch what he does. So I want to give you the opportunity to sow into this ministry. We have a cash app account, which you may give into the cash app account. And that is the dollar sign, capital W, capital F, capital C, and the ministries with a capital M. One more time, dollar sign, capital W, capital F, capital C, Ministries with a capital M. Or you can write us a check. Make it out to WFCM. Send it to 13, uh, no, excuse me. Send it to uh, P.O. Box 33. Mount, excuse me, I'm giving the other address. P.O. Box 33, Jonesboro, Georgia. 30237. One more time, that's WFCM. P.O. Box 33, Jonesboro, Georgia. 30237. Next week, we'll have a phone number. You can call them with your credit card or check card information. We can take it that way. People of God, we love you. We thank God for you. You'll be blessed.